Getting started with CMS part two. Hey everybody, Joe Workman here. And in this video, we're gonna continue where we left off in video one. So in video one, we created the admin interface and we populated this CMS with all the data from our website. We're gonna take that content and apply it directly inside RapidWeaver. So here we are now on the home content page, right? So this is gonna be our, the home page for the website. Now as you see, it contains all of the static data that we had previously. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is first and foremost, we need to add the CMS core content stack to our page. Now I'm gonna to wanna to add this to all of my pages. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add it directly to the uh, footer partial on the page. Now you may wonder, why did I add it to the footer and not the header? Well, um, the CMS core stack contains a little cheat sheet for all the macros that we could use um, inside our project files. And I like to have that data displayed so if I ever need to reference it, I can easily see it. And if I added that to the top of my page, it could get a little bit annoying. <laughs> so what I did is I added it to the footer um, because the CMS core stack really can be added anywhere you want on the page. Um, it is intelligent and it will put this stuff where it needs it, but having at the bottom, I can always scroll down and view the macros whenever I need them. Okay. And actually right now we're going to start using these macros right now. So this particular header here, um, we wanted to remember we're managing this header and this subtitle inside of our CMS. So we're gonna use the text macro to bring in the text for this particular title. So the syntax is percent CMS text, and then open parentheses, and then we're gonna put in our CMS ID. And if you remember that was home underscore title, close parentheses and percent. Okay, now, I'm gonna preview this page and what you'll notice is instead of seeing this macro text, we should see our page title that we saved inside the CMS online. And there we have it. I have the CMS content that we saved online for this page title. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing for the page subtitle and the header uh, lower down on the page. Now for this paragraph, instead of using a macro, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this CMS text stack here. Now, the reason I didn't use a macro here and I used uh, the tech stack instead is Hipwig, uh, which is our WYSIWYG editor, takes care of all the formatting and whatnot for us. So a lot of times when you're using Hipwig, you just wanna use the plain text stack um, and let it do all the work for you. Now, next up, we wanted to replace these three images with a gallery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a gallery stack to the page. And if you remember, we set the CMS ID to, the, to be gallery. Now thumbnails, I definitely want square. Um, max images, let's say 20 is the maximum that we're gonna display. And sorting, I actually want shuffle. I just want it to display kind of random images, that's fine. Um, and what I'm gonna do here is I wanna turn on featured image support. Um, I don't wanna show every image, I only wanna show a certain number of images on the page. And then I wanna frame my thumbnails. Now last, we're gonna to determine how many thumbnails we actually wanna display. And uh, I'm just gonna set it to four. So we display four in line, um, four on tablet, and then maybe uh, two on mobile, okay? So let's go ahead and preview this page now. So here we have it. I've previewed the page and we have all of the data that is configured and stored in the CMS and previewed beautifully inside Rapid Weaver. Now with featured image, if you notice, I can click on an image and I have access to all the images in my gallery. So this is working exactly how I expected it to. So here we are on the About Us page. Now I've already configured the page headers to be the macros for the About title and the About subtitle. But if you remember in the content area, we wanted to add a video and then a news feed of basically all of our team members. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a video uh, stack to the page and configure my CMS ID to be about 
underscore video, which is what we set it to. Um, and that should be it. That's all we need to do for that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add our feed now that contains all of our team members. Now, when you add the feed item, um, you'll notice that the layout isn't exactly what we wanted, but we can tweak that. So let's go ahead and set the CMS ID to be about us, which is what I set the CMS ID to be. Now for our layout, we, we don't want the cards layout. What we want is we want a list layout and uh, we want the image alignment right. Let's set the width of the image to be a little bit smaller, so 20. Um, and then we don't want this background color. We want it to be transparent so that it just sees the background. So we're gonna click the color and make that opacity of zero and it's now completely transparent. So that's pretty much, I think, exactly what we want. And if we preview our page, we see that we have all of our content from the CMS. We have the page title that we had saved in those text areas. We have this a video that we saved just by putting in a YouTube URL. And then we have all of our feed items. And again, what's great here is that we can add and remove as many of these as we want, and it will be added to the list here. This is very powerful. And it shows that we not only have to use feeds for like a news feed sort of thing, but we can use it for general layout um, areas where we want our customers to be able to add certain components to the page. Next up is our contact us page. And that's just simple. It's a simple few text areas that we, I use the macro uh, for the header. And then I used a CMS text stack to insert the paragraph here. Pretty simple. We've done that a couple times already. So I'm not going to dive into all of that. But what I am going to dive into now is the site wide data, right? So this icon, our page title that is inside top bar, and then uh, this text down here in the footer. Now our page title is configured inside the rapid weaver general settings. So you see here, it says getting started with foundation. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to insert the CMS text macro. Now the CMS will manage this title across all of the pages, as long as you have the CMS core stack on that page. Now for the footer, I'm gonna go ahead and edit this partial and inside this paragraph, I'm just gonna go ahead and use uh, one of these CMS text macros again for this area. So again, I just insert this text macro and the CMS core stack will now replace that macro with the content from the CMS. And what's great with doing this inside of a partial is this is now global across all the pages that use that partial. Now, the next thing we need to edit is the image. So we're gonna go ahead and edit our header partial here that contains this image. Now, this is just a normal run of the mill image stack. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change that to be a CMS image stack. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the CMS image stack and drag that right in there. And if we click on the settings, we'll see that the CMS ID that we need to set is site underscore logo. And now I can safely remove uh, this image. And now we have our CMS logo, okay, that is managed by the CMS on every page because it's inside this partial. So if we preview this page again, you'll see that we now have, instead of the macro, we see the content that is edited by the CMS we see the image that is saved inside the CMS, and we also have the text that is in the footer for the CMS as well. So all I need to do now is publish my project, and I have a fully customizable solution online now. Just as a test, let's go ahead and look at our site settings, and this is no longer getting started with foundation. It's getting started with foundation plus CMS. Let's go ahead and save that. And if we go back to our homepage, we'll see that that title inside top bar has changed to be getting started with foundation and CMS. So I know I whizzed through a lot of things here, right? But we, we took a static website project and completely overhauled it to use the CMS in like under an hour, right? It's pretty astonishing. Now we used feeds to dynamically add about us content for our teams, right? We added video, we can edit text. We used partials to leverage the same CMS content across multiple pages, right? And what's so powerful about total CMS 
is that we built our site and integrated the CMS content inside Rapid Weaver. We didn't have to publish our page to see it, right? It all works inside Rapid Weaver. And that's important because you can design your sites before you publish them online and see all of the data natively inside Rapid Weaver. So again, I brushed over a lot of stuff here. Hopefully you can go back and review it and maybe pause and play around with some things, okay? Now we have individual videos on every single one of the CMS stacks. So if you wanna dive and learn more about those individual settings in each stack, please go ahead and do that. We have lots of video on CMS. Now, the next video in this series is we're gonna be adding blog to this exact project. So we're gonna take it to the next level and add a blog and some more dynamic content to the same exact project. So make sure you check out part two of this video series on getting started with Total CMS. See you then, bye.